So let me show you how I took my store-bought lamp from this to this for under $5. Your sewing machine, muslin, a ruler, rotary cutter, a pencil, your iron with no steam, your sleeve board for ironing, rotary mat, and the fabric that you choose for your lampshades. So after you've gotten your muslin or other fabric that's going to be your actual pattern cutout guide, you do not want this to be your actual fabric that you're going to cover your lampshade with because you may make mistakes and that would be costly. <laughs> so after you've got your muslin or your large piece of paper, something that's not going to slide, what you want to do is find the seam on your lampshade. And you're going to mark this seam onto the actual fabric. So we're marking both top and bottom. And I am going to give myself a little bit of extra fabric because I don't want, when I cut the leather out, I don't want for the top part of this to show. So I'm actually going to cut it a little bit tighter at the top so that the leather will come up here. It'll stop up here and not right at the top of the top sh of the lampshade or the bottom. I'm sorry, or lower than the top. We want it to come up just a little bit higher. So I've got this end of the seam marked. I've got this end of the seam marked. And what I'm going to do is slowly roll it and mark... As I roll because the shape of a lampshade is slightly curved so roll it slightly and mark it a little bit you keep a firm hand on this lampshade because it will slide back and forth over your fabric that is not what you want which is the problem that I'm having right now it would be easier to stick my hand through here but the frame that keeps the lampshade off of the actual bulb is in here and it makes it hard to do so this is a little painstaking but I don't know no other way to do it <laughs> trust me if I could I'd find the other way Okay, so I've got the shape of the lampshade mapped out. It's going to make a straight line for the ends. The lampshade measures 7 and 1 8 length from the top to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is go back in with the measurement that I've made here and I'm going to measure and make sure that there's eight inches from the top to the bottom because there are some areas <laughs> such as this area right here that is a little funky a little wonky so I'm going to go back in and measure that area and make sure that it's eight inches from top to bottom before I go ahead and cut it out so I'll probably be making a more straight line here at the top because it's not as clean as this line on the bottom but I'm going to go ahead and measure uh, randomly from top to bottom and make sure I've got at least eight inches of space and then I'm going to cut it out. I've cut out the shape and what I'm going to do now is kind of remeasure it over itself to make sure the tops and bottoms are even as possible. So I see a little bit 
outside right here. I'm going to go in with my rotary cutter and cut that. Although there's some here on the opposite side as well. So I'm going to go in and cut that and make them nice and square and even. Then I'm going to test it on the lampshade to see if it fits the way I would like it to. Okay, with an 8 inch seam, I think this is going to work perfectly. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get the black faux leather, use this as my cutting guide, and then sew the two pieces together. Now this is a black vinyl fabric. It looks like faux leather. It's not. <laughs> it was got from um, Hobby Lobby. It's from Hobby Lobby. And it was a remnant piece. This is uh, three quarters of a yard at 54 inches wide. And I got it for $4.50. There's actually plenty here in case I make a boo-boo, which hopefully we won't do that. So it'll be slightly cut on the bias. But what I'm going to do is see if I can get this a little bit ironed out to get some of these creases out of it first. So currently the only thing that I've done is put in the 5 8 seam right here. And put it on top of the lampshade to make sure that I don't see the top or the bottom of the lampshade. And so far so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in. And it's a little off here. It's a little, it's a little low. But I don't think I'll be able to tell, honestly, because when I'm in my bedroom, I'm watching television or sleeping. So, after sewing on the five eight seam, if you would like to not have to use any fabric glue to glue this down or sew it down, because it is a little tough, especially with this uh, vinyl fabric, it's stiff. You can. Set your iron up on the highest heat. Open up your seam and without steam in your iron, press it open. Now it's not going to be open and crisp like it would be on softer fabrics. But with this method of not using steam on the faux leather or vinyl material, you get to keep the grainy look of the leather. Um, it will be kind of stretchy for a minute while it's hot but you should not lose the grain uh oh lost a little bit of material there <laughs> but it'll be a little stretchy while the material is hot but you don't lose your grain of your leather as long as you do not use steam great thing about this project is it's something that you can complete in about 30 minutes depending on how many lamps you have but you can remove these because they're not permanent and you can wash them if they get dusty or dirty for any reason or you can simply just throw them away so it's a really cheap project that you can do um, another thing keep your template for your lampshade because if in the future you want to change up your lampshade then you already have a template where you can go to instead of having to go through the whole process of measuring it again. So hold on to that. Make sure that you mark it which lampshade it is. And you can do this for really any size lampshade. If you can't find the lampshade that you really want in store. And plus it will be custom. Then you can make your lampshade whatever you want. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope you are motivated to do something unique of your own.